when I first started my education at Allen Hancock College at the age of 17, I was told, you can start here and go anywhere. I'm now 20 years old, and now I'm realizing how true that is and how far I've come during that time. I'm a first generation college student and I'm also the first one in my family to leave the home and pursue higher education. I remember seeing graduations on TV and watching them in movies and thinking, there they go off. And usually I would see kids like in High School Musical with their parents knowing exactly who to talk to and college scouts and things like that to help them make it a little easier. However, in my case and in the case of many students, I didn't have that support at home in the sense of knowing what's to come. And I would hear about all these kids going off into UCs and CSUs, already signing off on where to go to housing and knowing what they wanted to do with their life. And I wasn't really that prepared. I didn't really know how I would get there and I didn't even know how to apply to schools. In fact, when I was a senior in high school, I didn't apply to any universities because I didn't really know how to. Being a transfer student is so much more different from being a student in high school going off into a university for the first time, just because whenever you think of graduating and moving on to a university, you always think straight out of high school and you don't know all the resources that are out there for you. It's also the pressure of feeling like you're falling behind compared to the peers that you have. Most kids from my graduating class are about to enter their final year, so it's needless to say that that was definitely some extra pressure. Thankfully, I was able to speak with a few of my cousins who are also first-generation students, each having a very unique journey into how they've gotten to where they're at. My name is Arifeidi Cruz Santiago. Um, I'm currently a junior majoring in marketing right now at California State University. I'm originally from Monterey, California, uh, but I did come to college here in the Southern California area. As a first generation student who, is, who has parents who are immigrants, it, it could be challenging sometimes to think about, you know, going away from home first, right? Because we've always been close to, I've always been close to my parents and my family. My family always instilled in us that education is a priority and it, it, it is necessary for us, you know, to, to be better because when they came to this country, um, or where they left their country, they knew they came here for a better future. And education is also part of that for, for their children, their families, their cousins, whoever it is. So in regarding to pressure, um, there is a lot of pressure to be the best, right? And to the, do the, be the absolute best version of yourself. So my name is Brenda. I am currently a graduate student at CSUMB. This is my last semester. I graduated in May, so I'm almost done um, with my master's in instruction and curriculum. I did obtain my bachelor's at Sonoma State um, in liberal studies, and I also obtained my uh, multiple subject credential from CSUMB, which I graduated with that last year. Um, and I'm currently just finishing off my last semester as a graduate student. As the first one who not only in like my smaller family, like, you know, my parents, my sisters that um, went and went to pursue higher education, but like as a whole family, I never really had that um, role model, I guess you can say, as far as like, okay, you know, explaining to me how, how does the ap application process work? How does FAFSA work? It's kind of something that I had to kind of learn on, on my own. Um, I didn't have an older sibling or like an older cousin that, you know, would be like, oh, you know, come here and like, let me show you um, how all of these things work. My full name is Adamaris Cruz Santiago. I'm currently a third year psychology major at uh, California State Monterey Bay. I think that first generation college students hold some sort of um, empowerment um, that yes, we've had to do many sacrifices, be but because of those sacrifices, um, it has truly shaped us to be um, strong for ourselves and for our family members. You have to juggle a lot of things and, and that's just how reality works, I think, as a first gen student, because we do care about a lot of things and what matters to us, so we do put importance into that. 
coming out of senior year, I didn't really have a sense of where I wanted to go, where I wanted to be, what I wanted to do. So I knew that higher education was something that I wanted to do, but I didn't have no sense of, you know, whether I wanted to move to away from home, exactly where, exactly what I wanted to major. And I think a huge part of that was the societal pressure of coming out of high school. You need to know where you want to go and where you want to be. Um, I think that if I can remember every single time I went to a family gathering, people who know me since I was little um, would ask, oh, so where are you going to go? What are you going to do? And all these questions. And I kind of felt pressured that I didn't really have a set answer or I wasn't even confident in my answer. You always have this idea that, oh, leaving your parents or leaving your sisters, since I'm the oldest, leaving them. And once you left, you're like, oh, okay. So this isn't, you know, that bad. It's just having to manage all of those extra things that at home sometimes our parents do for us. Um, or like that sense of maybe feeling guilt because you're leaving. But I felt like that experience kind of helped me realize that, okay, you know, it isn't that bad. You know, leaving your parents, it's not like you're leaving them forever. You know, you can still have them a phone call away or go visit them whenever you would like to. My family and I decided to go during spring break to go check out one of the campuses I had applied to, CSC in Northridge. <sighs> it's currently... 1 a.m. I'm going to visit a couple schools tomorrow. One of them being CSU Northridge. I haven't been there in years. Like I've been pining for that school for like a long time. It's been my dream school. And I don't know why I felt so nervous all of a sudden. I feel like I was perfectly fine. I was doing all the steps I needed to take, going through all of that. I get like that sudden realization of in a few months, this is where I want to live. This is where I want to be. I'm going and I'm going to go see my cousin who is currently studying at CSE Northridge. It's surreal. It's, it, it does not feel real at all. Um, but I just wanted to get that out. See you guys tomorrow. And I'm so happy to say that I was accepted into six universities, Sacramento State University, Chico State, San Jose State, Fresno, Bakersfield, and CSU Northridge. I'm very grateful to say that for the fall of 2022, I will be attending CSU Northridge as a Deaf Studies major. Being a first generation student puts so much pressure on you, but it really makes you a stronger person and it builds your character knowing that you are going to be the one to figure this out. And it's up to you. Although it is stressful at times, I know I wouldn't change a thing. Because it's shaped me into the person I am. The morals I have. 
and it made me be able to know that I can achieve anything I want to if I set my mind to it. Thank you.